Hi, I'm Sindhu Koshi, and one of the cardiologists at Cardiovascular Consultants. The reason that I talk about heart disease and why I'm so passionate about it is because most women don't know about it. Uh, recent studies have shown that only 50% of women know that heart disease is their number one killer. Heart disease is the number one killer in North America of women. One in three women die of heart disease in the United States and more women die of heart disease than all cancers combined. So if we were to take all the women who die of breast, lung, and colon cancer, still more women die of heart disease. So it's very important that we know what our risk factors are and how to prevent heart disease. It is very important to realize that women have different signs and symptoms of heart disease than men do. We a lot of the time see that men have chest pain, it goes down their left arm, they may clutch their chest and fall to the floor like we watch on television. Women don't always have those same symptoms. 50% of women don't actually have chest pain. Instead, women may experience what they call indigestion or pain down here, a gnawing, burning feeling. Uh, pain may go into both arms, it may go straight down to their back, go up into their jaw and into their gums. Some women don't feel anything except for flu-like symptoms when they get up. They may get dizzy or lightheaded. They may feel fatigued all throughout the day. These symptoms are important to notice, and if they're out of the ordinary for you, you need to seek medical help immediately. So what are the risk factors for heart disease? Um, there are some things we can't change. We can't change how old we are. We can't change the fact that we're male or female. We can't change our family. So if you have a family history of heart disease, that is important to know. The things that we can change, um, smoking, don't smoke. We can change our eating habits to lower our cholesterol, to lower our blood pressure. If we're a diabetic, we can change the way we eat to make sure our blood sugars are under control. So one of the key things that uh, I talk about with women in heart health is know your numbers. So don't ever let your doctor get away with saying that your numbers are normal. You need to know exactly what those numbers are. So you need to know what your cholesterol numbers, including your LDL and your HDL numbers are, and where you should be, what your goal number is. You should know what your blood pressure is, and you should know what your goal blood pressure should be, so that you can tell where you need to be and what you need to do to get there. Know what your BMI is. I know it's a number that most women don't like to know. They don't like to know what their weight is, but it is really important to know about your overall health for the doctor as well as yourself and to know where your goal should be. Make sure you write down those numbers or have your doctor write them down for you and take it with you to different doctor's appointments so you can say, this is what my results were. Where do you think I should be? So the two most important things to try and prevent heart disease is diet and exercise. Now we don't really like talking about those two things because they are hard to do. So diet, what we want to do is incorporate more greens and fibers in your diet, take out those unhealthy things like soda, um, the vending machine snacks. How you want to do that is incorporate more healthy things throughout your day. Plan ahead, try oatmeal in the morning for your breakfast, try a salad during lunch, and have snack bags that have carrot sticks and apples throughout the day so that you don't have to go to the vending machine. So exercise, you don't need to have a big exercise program, you don't need to have a personal trainer or even go to a gym. A walking program is all you need. If you can walk about 10,000 steps a day by buying a cheap pedometer at any store and trying to log 10,000 steps a day, or even a half an hour a day of walking up the stairs and down the stairs at your work, at your job, in the grocery store, that's all you need to do to improve blood pressure and reduce your weight. If you incorporate little things like this, it's a lot easier than trying to make big changes to your lifestyle. But overall, what we want you to do is make sure you have a healthy lifestyle. These are not things that you want to do in a short period of time. This is what you want to change a habit for the rest of your life to keep yourself and your family healthy. These are good habits to teach your children to make sure that your husband's also eating healthy so everybody is healthy within your family. So to wrap up, I hope you learned something about the signs and symptoms of heart disease in women and how to prevent heart disease. If you have any questions or concern, please don't hesitate to call us at Cardiovascular Consultants. I'm Dr. Sindhu Koshi. We'll see you next time.